What's up guys, Baker here. Next installment of the editing serial series. And uh, this episode is going to be a tad longer because uh, I guess 10 minutes isn't long enough or something. But um, so I pretty much got all my clips pretty much done. I can always tweak it later. But what we're going to be doing today is just uh, bringing it into the main comp. And um, instead of bringing in the clips, we can pre we basically pre-compose them. And what we can do is drag these clips out onto here and use them as footage itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and push LL. And that why is it so? Oh, it's a big song, so it's got a bunch of stuff to load. But um, I'm gonna go and try to look for the opening drop because I think it's right about here. This is. What's uh, normally I wouldn't start like this. I'd start with the cinematics and stuff, but I don't really have everything uh, recorded and filled out yet, or whatever you know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of start the syncing process. So uh, let me just try to listen really quick. I'm gonna turn on my speakers. All right, somewhere around here. Let me one, two, three, hit it. <laughs> I think it's right about there. So um, my opening clip that I wanted to use was called, and this is really slow. I guess that happens when you have footage or something. I don't know. Never really happened to me, but let's see here. Wall bang. What was it called? It was no scope. I know that. Oh my god, was that it? Like some crazy no scope. No, I was in it. Oh no! Oh, here it is. This is it. All right. So I'm going to main comp. Take this composition, drag it out, and this basically, oops, this basically acts like its own piece of footage. So pretty cool. So here's the part in the song that I want to sync. So I'll just go ahead and uh, move this over. Probably turn this down to quarter just so it goes a little bit faster. There we go. Let's see, is that that's the game winning kill? I think there it is. Boom. I'm I'm gonna try to do some cool stuff with this uh, beginning thingy and stuff, but for now I'm just gonna <coughs> <coughs> cut it. So let's go ahead and wash it. See if it syncs up pretty nicely. One, two, three, hit it. What I'm kind of thinking about doing is, um, see the guys on the roof right there? I might have it say, like, one, two, three, hit it or something, maybe with the beat. Or, uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to be experimenting and stuff, but, uh, the only thing that's going to suck about these next couple episodes is, uh, it's going to be a lot of RAM previewing. So, I'm going to try to get this as fast as I can, but we'll, we'll see. Boom! Go on, K Dub. Boom. Alright, let's lay let's lay a sand. Okay, so what I think about doing is uh let's go into here and I'll do the uh hold on I'm gonna do the Okay, what I'm actually going to do is this. So I'll duplicate the clip. <coughs> I want that CC change thing to go on. So um, I'll go ahead and move to where he shoots. Boom, right there. right, And go ahead and get some CC lens up in here. Affect some presets. Let's load this. Let's go. CC lens. So, all right, so I'll drag it onto that clip, and so we got this cool thing. So it started down at zero, keyframe, and move forward. Let's see, 18 seconds. So we'll go move forward to about 20 or something. I don't know, and bring that up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push U, and uh, we'll go to this first keyframe. If we hit this arrow, it'll snap to it. 
highlight the size and the CC lens, hit copy, and we're going to paste it to our adjustment layers as well. What that will do is, uh, why isn't the other thing we What the hell? You know what I'm going to do? Go to that keyframe, see? Draw on there. See all my mistakes. We're going to just go ahead and cut these. See if that'll help. What the hell? Boom! Alright, you know what? I'm going to take this adjustment layer with the looks and stuff. All that and the CC lens. I'm going to go ahead and just copy those and put it on the clip here. Delete CC lens. Delete. Paste it back on. So now, take off this adjustment layer. Whoa. Boom. That's weird. Hmm. <sighs> Stupid star glow. Why you, why you, got, <coughs> why you gotta do that, huh? No weirdo. Maybe I'll, I'll cut it right there. There we go. Alright. Take a quick look. Uh, let's see, well, how's my time doing? Oh, so we got about seven minutes left, and I haven't really, uh, I've only gone through one clip, but that, that's cool. Boom! Might be a little slow. Let's, let's, let's take a look! Yeah. A little slow, so we can fix that. We're taking the curves and dragging it in, and the other one that had curves. There we go. So let's line that up with the other keyframe. And the slayer is, let's delete that, we don't need it. Okay, so that's cool. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, <coughs> on the next beat, whatever it is, I'm gonna have this next shot sync with it also. So whenever the kill cam starts, about there. I wanna go ahead and split it. So Command Shift D. L L. Alright, let me listen for the uh, the sound when the next little beat drop hits. Let's see, just turn off these little eyes for a sec. <laughs> Think about here. Well, let, let's just see. Let's take a look. So I want to move this over so it hits it again. Probably just cut this down a little bit. And let's just see how I did first try. Boom! So I'm gonna be doing uh, a couple new transitions, like the scope transition, a couple flippy things. Um, again, if you want to see some new stuff, go ahead and leave a suggestion. Just like always, and I'll try to work it out, you know. Um, uh, <clears throat> I showed my friend this song, and he said, hmm, it might be, sounds like it could be used for uh, over-editing. And uh, I'm not sure if that's bad or not, but I don't see why not. I mean, I can, I don't want to make this really simple. I want to show you guys a whole bunch of new things, you know, a bunch of new editing tips and cool stuff, but, uh, I don't know. I think it should be earlier. Let's try to zoom in here. So it's all about <coughs> sinking and stuff. Let's see. Let's see if that'll work. So what I was doing there is just, if you hold a command or a control for a PC, you drag your time indicator. You can't kind of listen a little bit better. Um, oh, another thing to kind of make this RAM preview going a little bit faster. Oh, one second. Cool is uh, under your preview window over here. If you're working in 59.94, you can go ahead and skip uh, one frame. 
So that goes every other frame, and uh, that's the frame rates uh, YouTube uses, so you should get used to that if you want to ram preview and stuff. So that's not too bad for now. I can always work on it later, but let's get some uh, more syncing in. Um, again, this is not a, the best way to work, but there's another part in the song I really want to uh, <coughs> put a specific clip in. Alright, what is this called? So normally, yeah, you just want to go like clip by clip, but uh, let's just see what I can use. What is it called? It's on high rise. It's another one of K-Dub's clip because apparently he's uh, some some cool guy. Or something. Uh, no scope. Is this stamina? Yeah, I'm also going to use that for later, so I'll just go ahead and bring that out anyway. But uh, where is it? What's that called? Oh, best black scope ever. Okay. So I want this shot to sync right when this drop hits. And uh, let's go ahead and listen to that. You might like it, I hope. Boom! Oh, what the? See? Oh, my God. All right, let's go into this. Let's fix this. See, this is what happens when you have non-square pixels, all right? And uh, this also happens when you don't uh, pre-compose it right. So let's go to interpret footage and change it back to square pixels. I think this is happening because I got this off of uh, KeepVid or something like that, or I don't even know. But uh, composition, also gotta change this, not color, settings. And uh, square pixels, okay. So, that back to normal. Main comp. Boom! Yes, it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Where's the shot? Um, boom! All right. Let me see if I can line that up. All right. Check this out. You ready? <coughs> but yeah, RAM previewing tips. Uh, set it down to quarter, and maybe skip a frame. And then, oh my God, Kato. See, how much time do we got? Another minute? All right. Let's see. Hmm, sounded a bit early for some reason. But, uh, this is gonna, I'm excited about this montage, you guys. You guys sent me some pretty awesome clips. It's gonna be insane. But, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and leave a like. Maybe a suggestion or two. Sweet! I'm excited. Are you guys excited? If you're excited, leave a like right now. And, um, yeah, I, this is just going to be so fun showing you guys all this editing and how to make everything in After Effects, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, did I mention leave a like or something? Oh, I think I did. And a comment or something. And if you really want to, uh, go ahead and favorite. I don't think you need to, but but I, I think you should. And uh, go ahead and tell your friends about me, because I need a bigger audience for me to get partnered. But uh, my subs are slowly starting to rise now that I started this series. But yeah, go ahead and uh, tell your friends. Got some new tuts coming up. And, oh, that's about it. So, uh, again, here are some buttons. And uh, let's make it uh, 75 likes this time. 75 likes for the next episode. It's going to be slowly increasing because uh, I know you guys are watching. And uh, I need more support. So, have fun. See you next time.